What's going on guys, Marth here, and today we're going to be talking about why Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 is the WORST CHAPTER THEY'VE EVER MADE! Now, in all seriousness though, today I'm going to be talking about why Chapter 3 is my least favorite chapter. If you guys do stick around though until the end of the video, I will be talking about some things Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 did really good in my opinion. But starting off with one of the biggest things I found wrong with Chapter 3 is the Huggy Wuggy scene. As you guys can see, as I'm playing the game, Huggy Wuggy is on the TV. We're getting to know more about the story around what happened with Playcare and how the monsters are taking over. But as soon as Huggy Wuggy or Nightmare Wuggy comes out of the screen, he just devours me in half. And I only get to see him for a couple of seconds. I wish Mob Entertainment had it to where if you backed up in the back of the room and you exited towards the door and started running towards in the hallway, then you can reset and, th and then go into the next room. As you guys can see here, I went to the next room. I was confused. I didn't know what happened. I thought I entered the realm of the Huggy Wuggy nightmare phase or whatnot. And I thought I was going to see him again and actually get chased by him. But instead, I had to kind of play the whole game and didn't know that he wasn't going to come up again. And I had to watch a YouTube video on it and see that you can actually get chased by him for like 15 seconds. It kind of sucks that you don't get to respawn and at least see him get out of the TV like other people have seen him. But I know that there's been a lot of people that also have missed him like I did here. And he came out of the TV in literally like a second. Like they should have at least gave me like the whole body and see him crawling towards me and not just, you know, his face and whatnot. It was still really cool to see. And I think that the Nightmare Wuggy is the best design out of all all the characters besides catnap i think he's on par with catnap but i think he's better than the original huggy wuggy i think he's better than mommy long legs i think he's better than daddy long legs uh the bear dog day i think he's better than all of those i just wish we got to see him a little bit more than just a couple of seconds also before you guys say i should have backed up or whatnot i did turn around and i tried to move but it wouldn't let me so i thought i had to stay there and just watch him come out of the screen also, I should have been able to just stay there, and if, and if he would have got me, he would have got me. I should have just resetted. Everybody was hyped that the blue man himself was back, inc including myself. So the fact that I didn't even get to see him kind of bums me out. Next up, let's talk about the puzzles. I always love a good challenge, but there are just so many puzzles in this game. And, and yes, I know it is a puzzling game. I just feel like 80% of the gameplay is all just puzzles i wish there was more action i wish you could see catnap more you literally only get to see him for like 10 minutes out of the whole entire game and the main time you see him is near the ending of the entire game which brings me to my next point with catnap when you really see catnap for the first time near the ending and you're getting chased by him it's just so dark to even see him you can't really even tell it's him i'm dead i'm dead I'm not gonna lie though, he looks really scary in his final form and he does look good. But where's the color? Where's the purple? Where's the definition? Every single jump scare is just a silhouette of catnap because it's so dark. I want to see the purple. I want to see the definition of his fur. And the final boss scene was definitely not what I was expecting in a negative way. And I'm sorry to say that to all you catnap fans out there that really enjoyed the final boss, but it was definitely not what I was expecting. Chapter 1, Chapter 2 all had final boss scene chases, and yes, there were Dog Day chases, there was Miss Delightful chases, and the final boss fight for Catnap should have been a chase scene. Every single chapter before this has been a chase scene. And the whole batteries and charging at the batteries and whatnot, I just didn't, I don't, I don't approve of it, I wish there was a chase scene. It should have been like a more thrilling factor to it, because the entire time I was just figuring out how to throw batteries in the in the wall and just try not to get eaten by them and as you guys can see here when i do die by catnap like look at the color there is no color in catnap it's just it's it's upsetting to be honest catnap has been so hyped for so long and for the, the him to only get about like five like five to ten minutes of screen time before the final boss it's kind of upsetting like, for instance, with chapter 2, you see Mommy Longlegs the entire chapter through. You see her interact with you. You see her as you make progress throughout the entire game. You can feel the character development with Mommy Longlegs while you're playing the game. With Catnap, 
he just kind of sits in the shadows and doesn't say much. He looks at you and looks at you while you're just playing the game, doing the puzzles and whatever you're doing. And then you see him for like 10 minutes after hours and hours of gameplay. Yes, chapter one wasn't much of Huggy Wuggy at all, but it also was a very simple and short game to where it didn't even matter. The chase scene made that entire game. And plus you get to see Huggy Wuggy as you're playing through the game. So it builds that suspense. With Catnap, you already know he's there and lurking in the shadows, but you want to see more of it if you're playing the game for a much longer period of time. When you're doing all these puzzles, when you're interacting with stuff, you want to see Catnap and you want to make it feel like he's part of the game with you and not just some side character that you'll see every now and then until the final ending. Like to me, Ollie was a more important role in this game than Catnap was. Ollie would interact with you as you play along throughout the entire game. Ollie was there helping you and kind of pointing you in the right direction of which room to go, which key to use for each set of different houses. He would guide you. I wish there were, I just wish there was more scenes with Catnap in it rather than focusing on the other mini bosses. Guys, enough talking about the bad stuff about chapter three. I still did enjoy it. There was just things that I wish were done differently, but now I'm gonna be talking about the good things that I thought was good with chapter three. Starting with the setting, chapter three definitely did have the better setting out of both the other two chapters. It was a very scary and unsettling setting. Next up, we have the dog day chase scene. This scene was my favorite out of all of the other scenes in the entire game strictly because it was a chase scene it is what i wanted with catnap so i really enjoyed it i died a couple times i learned the route of the pathway where i need to go i really enjoyed it while this crazy dog that has half of a body was chasing me oh and the little critters that came throughout the chase scene that was awesome i really enjoyed that how they implemented more stuff within the chasing i really wish they did that with the catnap boss fight instead of you guys know and with jumping across the ledge which i did die here but i still made it somehow and using the flare gun to shoot away the little critters that was all good implementations that mob entertainment did in my opinion so good job mob entertainment also, another thing I do want to point out about the Kissy Missy character development is that you get to see her in this room and you get to actually see her throughout the entire game and you see how nice she is, you know, how innocent she is. She's very sweet. She helps you along with Poppy. Well, to be honest, I still don't trust Poppy, but Kissy Missy just seems innocent and nice. So I, I, I kind of trust her. And then at the end, you see her just squealing in pain. And I believe the prototype had something to do with her. And I don't know if she's dead yet, but it goes off that character development that she got really hurt and really, you know, painfully abused and potentially murdered by the prototype. There's something. Oh, shit. What the fuck is happening? What the hell is What is happening right now? What is happening? Is she screaming? Is she screaming? What's happening? What the hell? Okay, last but not least, guys, the coolest thing I probably thought that was in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. You guys ready for it? Are you guys ready? Let me give me a drum roll. Give me a drum roll. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more feature content just like this one. And if you guys do want to watch me play these scary games live, I am live at kick.com slash it's Mark. Link in the description. The hands and the gas mask. The purple hand, the flare gun, and the gas mask are all really cool implementations that Mob Entertainment did for this new chapter. The purple hand allows you to jump for joy at every single ledge possible. It allows you to escape in some dangerous situations that you're getting into, like the dog day chasing. You have to jump across the ledge, which I, like I said, I still died from, but you get my point. The flare gun to shoot at the little critters to veer them away from you so that way you can continue on the task that you're doing and light up the room or the entire environment around you because it's pretty dark in this game so the flare gun can act as a light source it's really cool implementation that they did i really enjoyed those also with the gas mask i do love the idea that catnap has this red smoke emitting from his mouth 
that you need a gas mask to survive and be able to breathe while you're in these toxic environments. So I really did like all of those implementations that Mob Entertainment has done for chapter three. Also, I'm really excited for the newest chapter that they're going to do. I hope it's going to be more better than this one, in my opinion. I just hope that they fix certain things that I think that they could be worked on. And I really hope that Kissy Missy makes it out alive and doesn't turn bad because she may have a potential of becoming a bad version of Huggy Wuggy because the prototype now has her, I'm assuming. So we'll see what happens in chapter four. Anyways, guys, that is my opinions on chapter three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave this video a like and subscribe for more future content related to this. Like I said, if you guys do want to watch me play these scary games live, I am live at kick.com slash it's Marth, link in description. Aside from that, guys, it's Marth and it's been real. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.